All right, Mr. Wright here with lesson 13 for trombone. If you'll look at the screen, you'll notice that exercise one starts off with just good old half notes, two beats a piece. Then I break it down into quarter notes, one beat a piece. Then you see the familiar eighth note bar right there, just that single bar joining these eighth notes. So this is one, two, three, and four, and. But when we get to this next measure, this is the 16th notes that I'm introducing to you now. Notice that they're joined together by two bars. This cluster of four notes, these four sixteenth notes, can fit into one beat. All of this is beat one. And we'd say one e and a. All right, so one e and a, two, three, four. One e and a, two, three, four. So it's very important. You can put 16 of these sixteenth notes in one measure or in a whole note. So it basically to get 16th notes, we've just cut up a whole note into 16 parts. So the way we count this is goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one e and a two, three, four, one e and a two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one e and a two, three, four, one e and a two. Three. Now the way I would tongue this, I would go da 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 like that da 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 da, and we could single tongue it because it's not moving that fast. I am going to take 80 beats per minute because it gets kind of tricky down here. So we're going to do 80 beats per minute. I'll have my metronome set to that. Yay! All right, here comes number one. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> You'll notice when I play regular half notes that I add all the energy to the beginning of the note, and you never want to stop notes with a tongue. You never want to go dot, dot, like that. Just go da, da. Never stop notes with a tongue. Just start the next note. All right? Look at number two now. Number two, you've got these clusters of 16th notes. This is all of beat one right here. Da, 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 da. The way you count it is one e and a two, three e and a four, one e and a two, three e and a four, one, two, three and four, one, two, three and four, one and two e and a three and four e and a one and two e and a three and four and one, two and three and four and one. Notice this measure right here popping up beats right here and here because we're resting on the down beat. So here, beat two and three. So it's the last two measures of number two goes one, two and three and four and one. So let's try again. Number two is da 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 da. You're going one e and a two, three e and a four. Here comes number two. One, two, three. Then, if you'll take a look at number three, number three goes one e and a two, three and four, one e and a two, three and four, and one, two, three and four, and one, two, three, four, one e and a two, three and four, one e and a two, three and four, and one, two, three, four, one e and a two. So let's try number three now. One, two, three. Yeah, 
and I, with my tongue, I'm going da 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 da. Pretty, uh, and my tongue is pretty strong and forceful inside of my mouth, like so. Uh, number four is one e and a two, three e and a four, one e and a two, three e and a four, one e and a two, three e and a four, one e and a two, three e and a four. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, e, and a two, e, and a three, e, and a four, e, and a one, two, and four, and that last measure is one, two, three, and four, and so you come on the end of three on that measure. So da 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 da, da 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 da, da 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 da, and also I need to mention this on these sixteenth notes. You this is on the downbeat. This first sixteenth note. The upbeat pops on this third 16th note, the second half of the beat, in other words. So the second half of the beat occurs on this third 16th note. So it'd be da 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 right? da 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 or one e and a two, three e and a, like that. So the and occurs in the same spot as it would in like eighth notes. One and two and one e and a two e and a. So it breaks apart the measure uh, the beat uh, the same way. Here comes number four. One, two, I need to say this, when I was in the fifth grade, instead of using my tongue, I would go, uh, 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 I'd use the back of my throat and kind of just do a machine gun breath. Uh, 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 you know, that kind of thing. So it would sound like, like that, uh, 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 you know, don't do that. You'll wear yourself out. You'll give yourself a sore throat probably. I don't know. So just go da, 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 da. It's so much easier to use your tongue. People go, but I can't use my, yeah, you can just use your tongue. Ta, 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 ta. Can you say ta ta ta? You can do it. All right. So go tu, 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 tu. Tu, 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 tu. like so, and it's so much easier, and it sounds so much better. If I try to play it, it's kind of fuzzy. It's kind of just like not defined at all. So you need to use your tongue to give that definition to the beginning of each note, that articulation there. So uh, number five. Da, da, dun, dun. The e and a, one the e and a, the e and a, one two. So so it's gonna go da 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 three, da 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 four, one the e and a two, three e and a four, one two three four, one two three and four, one e and a two, three e and a, one e and a, three e and a. One and two and three and four and one, two, three and a, like that. So here comes number five. One, two, use your tongue. And the secret to that exercise is going slow enough, first of all, so you can play it. But also, you want to use your tongue. Da 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 da, da 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 da. If you try to go, uh, 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 it's going to sound pretty bad. So don't do that. Number six. Got to use your tongue. All right, got to use your tongue. Da 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 da. And you don't want to go. Just da 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 or just like that. One, two, three. 
Cool. Uh, this is all the way this all works. The only way you could do it is just using your tongue. It's kind of forcing you to. So da 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 da. And you want to basically let this tongue do all the work. You're just basically quickly moving the slide to the right locations, to the right zip code. Right? I was on the second line there again. Da 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 da. You have to be very strong and forceful with the tongue right there to get those notes to pop out. And uh, it just takes practice. Legato tonguing like that, uh, just like that in general, and that those quick 16th notes, that's, that's difficult to do. It just takes time and practice. You may want to slow it down, your, your metronome, or just play it slower, like here's 74, the last line of number six. So whatever you've got to do, it just takes time and practice and, and skill. You're developing skill uh, as you do this. So hopefully this will get you started on Lesson 13 for Trombone.